like and subscribe right now or this spider will crawl on your face in your sleep. There's a lot of weird stuff in the world, but it gets even weirder when you take a close look at it. The Earth is a pretty huge planet, and we haven't even covered 65% of our planet's surface yet we're trying to venture out to the stars. Each year, we discover new species, and it's getting exponentially higher since we're not even close to 100% in exploring our oceans. Welcome to Trend Mix, where we get in the mix with the world's craziest animals. Today, we're going to be talking about the 10 animals you didn't know existed. Let's jump right in. Number 10, Pika. Look at this adorable mouse and tell me you still hate the bubonic plague. You simply can't. But anyways, the pika is a small mountain-dwelling mammal found in Asia and North America. With short limbs, very round body, an even coat of fur, and no external tail. They resemble their close relative, the rabbit, but with short, rounded ears. They're also very good at hunting wildflowers, which is primarily their source of food. They're also known as a whistling hare for its high-pitched alarm call when diving into its burrows. Just look at this cute little creature, bro. Literally the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. They are also a top neighbor thief. They're like Robin Hood, except they steal for a living. They're cute, aren't they? Number nine, goblin shark. The next animal on the list is straight up nightmare fuel and probably from one of Lovecraft's books. The goblin shark is a deep sea hunter and basically I don't want them near me. The goblin shark is a rare species of deep sea shark, sometimes called a living fossil. It is the only extant representative of the family Miscarunidae, a lineage some 125 million years old. The goblin shark has the fastest fish jaws in the ocean at 10 feet per second, and they grow up to 10 to 12 feet long. They're pretty scary looking already, but don't worry, they don't really live in shallow oceans. Again. They're deep sea hunters, and their favorite spot is around 100 meters deep or deeper. Number eight, penis steak. Oh man, <laughs> what the hell is this creature? Okay, stop laughing now. Only I'm allowed to laugh. So yeah, this eccentric snake is actually a pretty rare and exotic part of the amphibians. They're called penis snakes or manaconda, simply for the look that they have. I'm pretty sure if you post this on a single mother's group on Facebook, they'll go crazy. Anyway, this creature is actually called Atratokanana acini, which is a species of Caecilian originally known only for two preserved specimens discovered by Sir Graham Hales in the Brazilian rainforest while on expedition with Sir Brian Dahl in the late 1800s. It was later rediscovered in 2011 by engineers working on a hydroelectric dam project in Brazil. Number 7. Glaucus Atlanticus You might wonder if this creature is straight up from Pokemon. No, it's actually Devalon from Genshin Impact. But jokes aside, the Glaucus Atlanticus is a sea creature known for its exotic look. It's basically a sea slug or snail, whatever you want to call it. Glaucus atlanticus is a species of small blue sea slug, a pelagic allioid nudibranch, a shellless gastropod mollusk in the family of Glaucadia, in the family Glaucidae. The sea slugs are pelagic, meaning that they float upside down by using the surface tension of the water to stay up, where they are carried along by the winds of the ocean currents. But don't let this tiny creature fool you. They can actually cause severe allergic reactions, which might even cause your early death. Just give us a shout out in your obituary if that ever happens. Number six, mantis shrimp. If there's a Mike Tyson, who's also an assassin in the ocean, it'll be this creature. The mantis shrimp are part of the carnivorous marine crustaceans of the order Stomatopoda, branching from other members of the class Malacostraca around 340 million years ago. Mantis shrimps typically grow around 10 centimeters in length, while a few can reach up to 38 centimeters. They are also called the sea locust, prawn killers, and even thumb splitters. This is one of the most common predators in tropical and subtropical waters. They also wield two weapons, a smasher type of claw that they use to literally smash their opponents, and they spear because sea hunting is always a lot better with piercing weapons. Their eyes work independently. It's like walking into someone who can see 360 degrees twice 
These eyes can see more colors than the average creature on Earth, and even polarized light. They're just too overpowered. They attack so fast that they generate 1,500 newtons of from the cavitation bubbles. Aside from the speed of their attack, which is 23 meters per second, yes, they're that fast. Number 5. Venezuelan Poodle Moth Literally one of those recently discovered species, the Venezuelan Poodle Moth is an alien-looking moth that looks too cute to pass on this video. It was discovered by Dr. Arthur Anker. To date, the only known examples of the Venezuelan Poodle Moth live in Venezuela, South America. In the Canaima National Park, the region includes diverse habitat types, including moist forest and high rock plateaus known as tapas. Although the floating images of the said moth appear to be fake, it is neither a hoax nor a fake creature. The problem was that they used an image of the Bombex moth, or the silk moth, who bears an uncanny resemblance to the species. Number 4. Pacofish You know how land-based creatures evolved from fish, right? Well, here's an example. The Paku fish is just your average fish with teeth. Isn't that scary? Well, the scary thing is that it almost resembles human teeth. Sometimes I can't comprehend evolution, but when you put it simply like this, it makes it a lot easier. The residents of Papua New Guinea named this fish the ball cutter. You really want to ask me why? Do you want this fish to bite your damn balls? Literally half of us have balls, but I don't really have the balls to let this fish chew on mine. Number 3. Giant Isopod If you're a fan of Pokemon, I'm pretty sure you'll recognize this. Well, Kabuto heavily resembles the Horseshoe Crab, but the Horseshoe Crab isn't part of the Isopoda family. But holy cow, this isopod is just freaking insane, man. They're kind of related to wood lice, except for the fact that these creatures are built different and just outright massive. They can grow as much as 14.2 inches. The Bathonomus giganteus is basically just a giant cockroach that can swim. Sure, it can't fly, but remember how we evolved from fish? We're lucky that they live in cold waters with a depth of 310 to 2,140 meters, or that's 1,020 or 7,020 feet in the West Atlantic and Gulf of Mexico. Otherwise, I'll start moving to Mars. Number 2. Indian Purple Frog I, uh, I don't know how to describe this creature. But basically, this poor fella is what's known as the Indian Purple Frog. They're basically frogs, but look like a nerfed mole. Residents of West Ghats in India make them a delicious meal, but they're currently listed as endangered by IUCN. They've been quite good at hide and seek, and were only available for a wide scientific research back in 2003. Number 1. Scotoplanes These alien-like creatures are one of the rarest animals you'll see on Earth because they live underwater. Hence, you don't see them on land? Well, forget the punchline. But basically, it's like a sea pig of some sort. These creatures live on the deepest parts of the oceans, particularly on the abyssal plain in the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Ocean, typically at depths over 1,000 meters from deep sea mud. They kind of look like one of those things on Attack on Titan. Anyway, if you like what you see, then consider subscribing to the channel. Leave a like and comment down below. What creature did we miss on the list? I'm pretty sure there's a lot, so we're looking to cover more of them. So we'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.